Because I've gone go Russo cut the ballet ho Rock the tambourines and the didgeridoos. I think we should just cut back to that. Yes. Welcome we, back. Well, welcome back, everyone. We've got, we're not going guru yet, but Jonathan will soon. Yes. Uh, I don't. Uh, if you know this game, you know Gong Guru. You, I, you know the Gong Guru. I, I assume that everyone who's played this game knows that song. All right. So now this is the safe house. Um, awesome. As you saw in the cutscene, Otis welded the door shut because there are now zombies in that hallway. Yep. You, you can actually get back to that hallway through the other side. So, like, the stairwell we came up in in the cutscene, you can, like, climb that same stairwell and get to the hallway, and it's filled with zombies. That I always thought that was a cute touch. Um, Jessica is on in the computer. That's normally where she is. So if you, like, go through that door, you'll see her. Yes. I'd recommend saving, too, just because. Yes, the couch is... Past the computer room. Yes, because we were just here. Yes, uh... We, we can't rest on that couch for some reason. Uh, does it also heal me when I rest on the couch? It does not, but there's food items that always spawn by Jessica every time you enter. Awesome. Uh, here's the couch. The apple heals, like, one health square, if I recall correctly. Chocolate milk and orange juice heal four, if I recall correctly. And there's a bunch of different, uh, fucking... There's a bunch of different food items that'll heal different things. It's just I always grab the chocolate milk and I always grab the orange juice, because they are goaded. The orange juice doesn't spawn here. It spawns somewhere else. It's just what I think of when I think of Dead Rising. I am missing one square. So how do the squares work? Are they like hearts in Zelda where... Yeah, exactly. So there's like quarters of a square that you lose. It won't show you that, but yes. I think the square will like diminish or it'll start like shrinking and flashing or something. But yeah, your health is never at like 3 out of 4. It's at like 2.75 out of 4 and it's rounded up if I recall correctly. I will find the computer room. I... You just walked through it. Oh. No, yeah, Jessica. I'm sorry. <laughs> the food's going to be on your left. Fantastic. It is awesome that that spawns every time. I'd eat an apple if I were you, and then I would just carry chocolate milk with you. Drop, like, the two by four. That, that's oh, is that broken. chocolate milk or coffee creamer? Same fucking thing. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, the two by four is... Uh, I just had it. It's this one. Yep, press uh, down on the D-pad. Awesome. And then just grab some chocolate milk. Or coffee cream or whatever the fuck. <laughs> That's chalky milk. Like, what the fuck? Now, go talk to Otis. I know I'm backseat gaming right now, but this is... No, I need I need your help to get through some of Otis this. Otis is by the vent. By the door that he welded. Did you say vent? You're going the wrong way for the sake of the fucking sus joke. Amogus. 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 I wonder if that will still be funny by the time this goes up. It's always fun to make fun of Stone Toss true I, i'm so okay otis is here yes go talk to otis it takes me a few it takes me a few times before i get the layout memorized i'm like this in real life too so i'm not a bad gamer i'm just bad at life i just have this shit memorized because this i've been playing this game since 2006 uh you ain't planning to go out back there are you i wouldn't if i were you but young folks never listen to me here is your transceiver and your map uh map i think is accessed by the back button I think. The back button. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, it's your map. Nothing to write home about. Yeah. The transceiver is how you get the messages for, like, scoops and cases and whatnot. And it is easily the most, uh, uh, people don't like it. And you'll see why. How do I access the transceiver? You don't. When you get a call, you'll be able to access it. So go ahead and go through that vent and follow Brad. Brad. This is how we get back into the mall. Because Otis welded the door shut, we now have to climb through the vent. Yeah, Brad. You ever watch Kick Batowski as a kid? No, but didn't our friend Rin actually, like, talk to the creator or something? Yeah, she did. Rin's a fucking cryptid. I love her. She's so cool. I can't wait to do Left 4 Dead 2, I say, as I'm playing another zombie game. With her and CTI. Left 4 Dead and the Dead Rising reference each other all the fucking time. Alright, uh, now hop down, and this will be my truly last time helping you. Go talk to that guy. This is your first escort quest, and thankfully, oh, no. <laughs> thankfully, you're literally just going back to the vent once you find him and his wife. Okay, come on, come on, dude. Yes. Yeah, you can't skip their dialogue, they just kind of talk. Alright. Jeff Mayer. Wow. His wife is somewhere nearby, we have to find her. She's on the roof somewhere. All right. Now, as you'll see, he joined. Okay, yeah, here's the escorting mechanic. Pressing Y will call a survivor to you. 
So if you just press Y, they will run to you as soon as possible. If you press left trigger and Y, or no, right trigger and Y, that that's yes. the left trigger icon, but with RT on it. That's weird. Um, if you press right trigger and Y, like when you go into aiming, whether you have a gun out or whatnot, and you press Y, that sets the goal marker, and they will run to that as soon as possible. Awesome. As you can see, he joined and gave you 5,000 PP. Awesome. So go find his wife before you turn him in, because you get a photo op. And a photo op is just, like, you can get 20,000 PP for taking a single photo if you're lucky. Nice. And there she is. Well, shocker ball. I don't, I don't want that. Nope. No, I don't want that. Once you get up to Natalie, get your camera out and get ready. Okay. You'll know it's a photo op because... Wait, wrong, wrong yep. one. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom. That's what a photo op looks like. Oh my god, look at all that. Oh, I just got, got two, two achievements. achievements. Let's go. And now talk to them, bitches. Because they're just going to stand up here and make out unless you do something. You mind cutting your joyous reunion short? It is pretty safe up here, Frank. Zombies never spawn up here. <laughs> yeah. And now you just run back to the vent. Look at that, you're at level two now. Fantastic. That's what he says, you're right. Taking pictures really does a lot more than just fighting zombies. Yeah. Yeah, you just level up by getting PP. Prestige points, I, I love that. I told you they were prestige points. <laughs> I know, but it's still funny to see it. That was just explaining the stats, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. They're, they're pretty self-explanatory. Alright, you guys, yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. So yeah, it's like an RPG. Yep. And then you're just going to hop back up to that vent. Yes. You're walking past the vent. Oh, duh. Wait for them to climb up here, too. In Dead Rising 2 and off the record, go ahead and walk to the vent. Just wait for them to climb up. Okay, the vent is here. Yeah. In Dead Rising 2 and off the record, it will show an icon above their head. Press B. When, uh, when they're ready to walk through the door with you. If you do that before the icon appears, they will start taking damage once you load into the new zone because they're being attacked by zombies, even if they're not. You just leveled up to three, by the way. Fantastic. Off to a great start. New skill! You have mastered the jump, jump kick. kick. All right, so yeah, now you just go right back out and you find Brad. You oh, can't do it in the safe house. Yes. Go back out and find Brad. Uh, but in Dead Rising 1, it doesn't show that, so I always just wait until the survivors are, like, right next to me. Because you can still leave them behind accidentally. So, do all the survivors, uh, do they stay in, uh, the security room? It's like, it's like a hub world thing, and as you rescue more survivors, they all collect in there. Yes. That's pretty cool. There are some quests that will, like, change that or alter it, but... We don't really have to worry about that too much. That's the jump kick. That is a fucking godsend for speedruns. That is how you get through a zombie horde without actually getting grabbed. Oh, if only there wasn't that landing lag. You can time it slightly, yeah. It's still a good move. Yeah. So just gotta find Brad somewhere up here. He's not up here. You have to either take the elevator or the door. Oh, okay. Uh, I saw a door. Is it this one? Yeah. You can actually get an achievement as soon as you go through this door if you just jump off it. Cool. Uh, jump off where? Just just keep going. Oh, here's the transceiver mechanic. Okay. While you do this, you are completely vulnerable. You cannot attack. You cannot jump. But you can choose not to answer it. Yes. Okay. But if you choose not to answer it, you won't get certain missions. Um. Yeah. There's also an achievement for answering every phone call, which we don't have to do because that's just completionist nonsense. Buckets don't want those, do I? You can put them on zombies if you want to take outtake photos. I'll take... He's calling again. He's probably letting you know... He's either telling you a mission right now or... Oh, I think this is the mission. There's some young guy There's wandering. the Larry Butt... Uh, Larry Butt's uh, side quest. Nice. So we got to do that. Of course. Scoop Q, because uh, I, I assume we're not going to do every mission. Nope, we'll, we'll definitely... There are some missions that are just bad. Uh, we want to do the story missions, obviously. If you fail a story mission, it's kind of like just letting the moon fall in Majora's Mask. Where, like, yeah, you'll get an ending, but is it the ending? Is it like Mega Man Zero One, where if you, like, game over in one of the stages, you just can't beat it? You can't go to the stage anymore? Uh, no. Because that's bullshit. Nah. 
If you if you don't do the main timeline by the time it's due, then you are locked out of finishing the story, but you can still continue playing the game until the days are up. But I can also just go back to day one and do everything over again. If we restart, yeah. Cool. Okay, I don't think I'll take a bucket. Uh, so this is where I jump. Yep. All right, there's. You'll, are... you'll take some damage. There are no zombies down there, I'm okay. pretty sure. Yet. Just jump down on top of the risers, and then jump down. On top of the... The risers. That's what we call them at my job. Go to the left. The left. The left. I'm... <laughs> the lid. The lid. There we go. Yes, now jump down there, and then just jump off. Fantastic. You took damage, but you got an achievement. That's so stupid. <laughs> Free fall. You get, later on, you get a move that negates fall damage, but... You want an achievement, Jonathan? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it gives me serotonin. This is so cool. I love this. I love how you can break cardboard boxes and there are items in them. That's more food, so I think I'll take it. That can expire, just so you know. Oh, really? Yes. So is it is it like uh, eating rotten meat in Minecraft? Yes, you will get sick. Your character will vomit for a bit. Okay, I'm not doing that. It's uh. it's still food, but like it, I think it takes a while, to, a while to expire, if I recall correctly. You can also just pick up the item and then throw it. Okay, I think I'll do that. Do you remember how to throw? It's right trigger and uh, X, right? Yes. You just hold right trigger to do it, by the way. More frozen vegetables. Okay. I'm, I'm good. I got the creamer. And that's the way to the elevator. We don't have to go this way. Yep. Oh, is that a steel beam? That's a lead pipe, yeah. Is that is that one good? Uh, it's pretty good. It's a little flimsy, but it's good. I'll find these things out on yourself, dork. Okay, I I got one empty spot, so I'll use this. Ooh, a mannequin. Does using it... I assume using it on uh, regular items also wears down the durability. I don't know, actually. Also, <laughs> if you use the mannequin on a zombie, the mannequin will break, and then you have mannequin arms and legs and torsos to fight with. Why are you doing this? <laughs> this is how I play. Do they all have frozen vegetables? God damn Not it. Not normally. Oh, so does that little green circle above it say that it's expired? Does that No, that means it's edible. Oh, okay. Because the red gun means it's a weapon. I got creamer, so I'm good. You're heading back to the roof if you go that way. I'm sorry that I'm bad. I got big dog status. It ain't no screek written. I would probably still be uh, aimlessly uh, wandering around inside of the mall with the horde of zombies if you weren't here to tell me stuff. Before, don't, don't go too far. Press uh, left on the D-pad real quick for me. Yeah? Yep, there's your mission. Cut from the same cloth. That's the Larry Butts thing. Yep, so just so you know, that's how you view your missions. And yellow means it's going to expire relatively soon. Okay. I don't remember the exact time frame. It's a few hours. Obviously, this game isn't like one-to-one -one with time. Um, so it's more like a few minutes, like 10 minutes, I want to say, but you know, we definitely, if we want to do the Larry Butts side quest, we want to keep a track on his, which I do have his side quest marked down specifically. Yes, we're, we're doing that and okay. <laughs> Shout out to VR chat. Where do we get a gun? There are a bunch of firearms around the mall. And then do you, like, find ammo clips for the, uh, guns? No, if the gun... If you run out of ammo for the gun, the gun just breaks. Okay. <laughs> I'm, you can find a ludicrous amount of firearms in this mall. When the gun runs out of, uh, ammo, can you use it as a blunt weapon? No. It just... It, Frank does, like, the recoil animation for when he breaks a weapon. I don't think you can even throw guns if they have ammo. There, he's, he said it! I've yeah. covered wars, you know! Her lips are so detailed. I know, right? <laughs> oh, there we go. She's giving us a gun. Because she's hiding secrets from him. Because she's required. It dropped your lead pipe because it was in your hands, by the way. Are the cases the... Uh, That's main, the main story The line. stuff I have to do, okay. Yes. All right. Cases. The case panels, yep, when a new one opens, it takes you closer to the truth. 
Yeah, you can you can take a look by pausing in the menu case file men, menu. Burp. All right, so <laughs> let my fucking just, go. Uh, you said the bat's better than the pipe, so I I'll. My English class got canceled for tomorrow again. Nice. He has a sore throat, and he has a cough. Nice. So he's gonna die or something. No, he no die. He got the coof. Oh he no. Got the coof. Okay. All right, you want to do the Larry Butts side quest real quick? Yes. All right, run to the right. Right now, the marker is pointing towards Brad, so just ignore it. Go up those stairs. Up those stairs, Feel okay. free to kill zombies, by the way. They do... Jesus, Jonathan! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking baby drivered him! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back to the blunt weapon, actually. Oh, that was so good. Right? And Larry Butts is going to be right up here. Oh, that arrow is so good. To our left in that coffee shop. Coffee shop. Columbia. Roastmasters. There, yeah, that sounds like a coffee shop. There he is. Kent. Larry, Larry Butts. <laughs> Can't you see I'm hard at work? I'm trying to take some pictures here. You've got a nice camera there yourself, but you don't know the first thing about photography, do you? <laughs> he's basically the camera tutorial for this game. Fantastic. And he serves more of a purpose later. I'm not... I happen to be a pro, too. Maybe not as good as you, but... Oh, so Frank's buttering him up. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's a... He's like a sarcastically humble dude. Frank knows he's good, but he's also not gonna be like, I've got a big dick in front of people, you know? The name's Frank West. Sorry I got in the way of your shot. I'll just get out of your hair now. Hang on a sec, buddy. Why don't I do you a favor? I'll have a look at your technique and give you some pointers. <laughs> this is the song I was telling you about. I fucking yeah. love this song. But it always goes your way. We discussed this between episodes. I don't know if it's going to get included or not, but I fucking love the soundtrack for this game. Here is something pretty important. When taking photos, note that the larger the target marker, the more PP you'll gain from that photo. Also, if you manage to take the photo being attacked or being damaged or in some other like non-standard status, the target PP will change to a different color, indicating an increase in potential PP. And now it'll tell us the different genres. The color indicates the genre. Red is brutality. Drama is orange. Outtake, which is funny, that's green. Horror is blue. And erotic is pink. Erotica. I can't wait to see what will make an erotic photograph. Alright, he wants you to take a picture of him while he takes pictures. Okay. He moves around. Yeah, this is him, like, drilling it in your head. That's good. I need that. That was close. That was close. He wants you to zoom in and zoom out. He wants you... This is the Pokemon Snap tutorial. There you go. That's a good one. Alright, so that's the first photo he wants. He wants one more. He wants a 700 PP photo now. Okay. Which we already did, but he wants you to get it from his pose. He wants you to follow him, though, because he's going to go fight zombies while he does it. Okay, that makes sense. Our speed does level up. Don't worry. Okay, good. <laughs> he's leaving you in the dust right now. And there will be a photo op thing that appears above him. Yep, that's when you'll take it. Look at him go, dude. That was not it now. That was close, though. You were close. What are you doing, Frankie? <laughs> oh, he was out of frame. <laughs> Old on. man. I think a zombie's coming up on you. Oh, frick, yeah, you're right. He's holding a hand. Whenever Kent takes a picture, he does a signature pose afterwards. After. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the oh, pose frick. that you want to get a picture of. Either him doing the kick or him doing the fist bump. There's a zombie coming up yep. on you. He's going to run out of zombies to kill. Oh, answer Otis real quick. Somebody's barricaded a woman's clothing shop in Alfresca Plaza. That's, if you want to do it, we can. It's a, it's a big escort mission, though. Let's focus on Kent for now. We don't want him to get disappointed yeah. in us. Oh, get ready. You weren't zoomed in enough, sadly. He's too. He was too <laughs> over here, old man. I think Kent is like twenty, and Frank's like in his thirties. Take the picture. There we uh, go. Ah, not a little off. So oh, close. If I was more on center. And once we finish this mission, I will show you where we get more batteries. 
Don't feel bad about not landing the kick picks. I never can. <laughs> and I've played this game almost as long as I've been alive. Oh, this this will be the one. This will be the one. Yes, that's got to be it. That's got to be yes. it. Yes, it's 716. You did it. Half the credit goes to your model. <laughs> he's even got a cutscene. Wow. Yeah, he's a pretty big character, actually. <laughs> Obviously, he's not literally Larry Butts, but in, like, the actual trivia for the game and whatnot, he is based on Larry Butts. He looks like Larry Butts. He looks just like Larry Butts if he was in this game. Larry Butts is a Phoenix Wright character, for those who are unaware. Yes, uh, from the original trilogy. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good. <laughs> Such a good, like, not great character. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I love the 2006 pores on his face. I know. Our guy. All right, so now uh, you can either go help Brad or you can kill some time. It's entirely up to you. I'll help Brad. Was that the end of the uh, of the mission? He comes back later. Okay. Actually, press left on the D-pad real quick. There are no zombies up here for the time being. Photo challenge. Go down all the way to that. Don't press A. Let's just read the description because I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I just want to make certain. Paradise Plaza. I promised Kent that I'd meet him at noon on the 20th. That's the second day. I have to get a, a good, good erotic erotica picture. Photo. Okay. Uh, I'll. Don't worry. We'll. I'll get that situated for us. Okay. Then uh, it's Brad time. Yeah. Let's go help Brad. Just follow the arrow on the screen. Fantastic. Looking Dude. for things to take pictures of, maybe in this. Uh, Taking pictures of zombie hordes is always good. It'll get you like 500, 600 PP. Can you do me a favor and open your watch back up real quick too? Once you do this photo. Yeah. Or... Okay. Yeah. Noted. Noted. You're definitely gonna want to get to Brad soon. Okay. Uh, let me get let me get this one good picture, and uh, that should. Not great. That was not a lot. Okay. We're also very far away from them. None of them are doing anything except standing there. I'm not gonna waste my camera shots oh i'll show you how to change camera shots when we get back do i go out that door yes okay yeah feel free to just fucking murk these dudes ah oh, she's sucking your dick i need to uh should i have the creamer now or wait until i take more damage the creamer heals a lot if you want food items just go back up to that coffee shop oh my life went up i didn't notice that when i leveled up yeah also, yeah, um, like every other RPG, when you level up, your life fully heals, and I think that's it. Alright. Okay, cool. Yep, and now you're just gonna run basically to the other side of the park. Alright. Imagine if a mall really was like this. Mm. Now would be a good time for the creamer, once you're out of, like, the zombie horde. <laughs> Us. I, I love games where that have like a comical uh, drinking animation when you heal. Gulp, gulp. Breath of the Wild, Dark Souls. Got to sip that OJ. Yeah. Uh, what, what do we have here? Is that a lead? That's pot? a scythe. Oh, that that's that sounds like a good weapon. You're fucking mock a Soul Reaper with that. Pick that shit up. Yeah. Or a sickle. Oh, this is one of the weapons that actually like gives you PP for every kill. Nice. You don't swing the scythe through a crowd. Go ahead and use it on a zombie real quick. Okay. Oh! So cool! Yes! Not a great weapon for hordes, but, like, if you're just picking dudes off, every 150 zombies you kill, you get PP. Every thousand as well. Like, increments, you know? Yeah. Nope. Ah, every time. Just a little mistimed. Oh, shit. Wiggle that stick. Wiggle that stick. Wow, Frank staggered there, even though his health was almost fine. There you go. We're not strong enough to Oko these guys with just our feet and our fist yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, when that happens, make sure you press the button on screen. I think if you press the wrong one, it takes longer. I think. 
Okay, this is a safe one. He has a knife, too. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, no. It's a better horde weapon. Really? Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We move so. <laughs> we move so? <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's a fast weapon that I can use to tear through a large crowd. It's a Musso weapon. All these zombies with yellow jackets almost always have a knife on them, if not fucking forever. There's a lawnmower to the right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Kill this bitch and then drive that fucking lawnmower. Damn it, Otis. We regular show now. I think press A to go or X. Oh, okay, well. Just answer Otis real quick. This might be a quit. Never mind. Yeah, I can't answer him while I'm fighting off zombies. If that was a quest we wanted, we can also just restart. Yeah. Yep, just clear your way through. All right, Jonathan, you ready for the first boss fight? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you saved your ammo. This is a psychopath, right? Yep, this is our first psychopath. That's, <laughs> that's what they're called in-game. We're not being mean. Yeah. Psychopaths, look who it is. Whoa, it's the guy from before. It's Carlito. And there's Brad. Oh, Brad. <laughs> no. So if I die on this, we, we'll just go back to where we were. To where... Either to where we last saved or where we were. Yeah, I don't remember which. But even if it is where we last saved, it's not terribly far. Yeah. And we're fighting in a food court. Do you know what that means? What? Lots of food items. Ooh, yes. You can also find frying pans and knives if you run out of a, a, of ammo. Which you definitely will. A, a gun's not going to kill Carlito. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. I think Brad actually just gave us another gun. Maybe we will be able to shoot him. Fantastic. You will want to get closer, though, because Carlito does take cover, and you're going to want to flank him. Next time you reload, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. The welcome sign. One, two, three. I really hope the glitch that affects me the most in this game doesn't happen here. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Those load times are so fast. Yep. You might want to answer Otis now. While you run. While you run. I found... Okay. A jewelry shop. Oh, that's a fucking depressing side quest. Hop on top of these crates. Ooh, shit. Take cover. Now hop on top. And just chase Carlito down. Where is Carlito? He's right there in the window frame. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. I got, do I have the gun? Yes. yes, I have the gun. You might want to pull... All right. You can... You aim much better. His SMG shreds, dude. Okay. <clears throat> and there's our first death. <sighs> Why are you still mashing? I don't know. All right, that's been about 30 minutes. You want to call it there? Uh, sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, join us next time when we uh, fight Carlito again. What does safe status and quit do? That takes us back to the main menu. It, it keeps our level, but I don't remember. You don't remember where it'll put me when I... Uh, yeah. I'm going to save status, though. All right. Join us next time. Yes. Oh.